Yes, people, we're here. We're live and direct right here on the Big Bad Station. And we've got a very special guest jo joining us today. And of course, special guest, introduce yourself and let the listeners know who you are. Hello, everyone. My name is Shweb. I'm a project manager working with young people around Coventry. Um, yeah, here to speak about our project and how we can interact with more young kids out there. Great, great. So you know what? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about kind of who you are as a person and what you're hoping to achieve with this project. Okay, so me, myself, I'm a very passionate person when it comes to life. And I see a lot of people, especially young kids, but people in general, you know, have that lack of sense of direction where, you know, especially from the social class that we come from, we only ever limit ourselves to certain degrees of where we think we can go in life. And I'm just trying to break that barrier and show people, and especially young kids, that there's a lot more out there than what we're actually taught. And there's a lot more opportunities and a lot more ways to go about life and achieve success. Yeah. Then again, what we talk through a typical sort of school system, going to university, etc. Okay. And, you know, there's been lots of talk, I'm sure you've heard within our community, especially in Coventry, that there's not a lot out here for people in Coventry, especially young people. So oh, yeah. where can young people go? Yeah, 100% I agree with that, because even especially when I was younger, but there was plenty of youth clubs and places to go and, you know, interact with the kids and stay away from trouble. But these days, there really isn't. So that's what we're trying to change with the project. So we've started off a whole new um, youth club, basically, the YV, the Youth Vision Youth Club, where we've got um, a PlayStation 5, we've got FIFA, we've got NBA 2K, well, all these all these games these young kids play. We've got all of that. We've got um, card games, ping pong snooker pool um so it's a place where kids can come play but also learn so we do like a, a program that's 12 weeks where it's five weeks of interactive classroom-based learning where we're nurturing entrepreneurship so we go around um, various different topics such as confidence resilience black history identity and then sort of team building development and leadership um and then once they kind of learn the knowledge they then put that into action yeah. so they basically plan and execute a mini project of their own yeah. so for example our previous cohort that we had actually came up with like a mental health documentary um where they're speaking about mental health with the young kids so yeah it's just kind of like a great place for young people that have got a lot of untapped potential to come have a bit of fun um, but also put that energy towards something that they want to see change in the community so they want to put on a little show a little games night you know, it's so entirely they've got the freedom to kind of choose where they want to take their program. Wow. And you know, what, being a youth worker, um, you share a lot of the, some of the similar passions to myself. Like, that's the degree I did. And I just want to know yeah. what is the most kind of worrying thing that young people are thinking of or going through at this moment in time? Because there's so many different things, isn't there? Yeah. I think for me, the main thing is the um, glamorification of the, sort of the gang life or, you know, the road life, quote unquote, quote, so to say. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Especially even when I was younger, you know, it's, it's easy to see like, you know, when we, when we come from poverty or we come from broken homes and we see the lifestyle around us, we, we decide that we don't want that life. But then it's that, it's that untapped question where we don't know where else to look. So we, what do we do? We, we're creatures of, like, we learn through seeing, don't we? Yeah. So people, these young kids, they see people on the streets, they see people on road, they see them driving flashy cars, they've got wads of cash. And to them, that's it, they're sold. They're thinking, oh, on one hand, I see all around me with my family and this and that, that there's just poverty there's arguments and it's always about money so i can change that by going into this and making money well it seems like it's easy money but it's never really easy is it but yeah. i think that's the main issue that i personally feel that you know young kids need to realize that there's a hell of a lot more opportunities and things to do out there than either go to university or become a drug dealer basically like it might feel like it is to some people yeah and you know i'm really interested how did you kind of get into this role and what kind of drove your passion Okay, that's good. Well, it's, it's actually interesting. I did like a full circle because I work for this, um, the High Life Centre. Yeah. Um, you may or may not have heard of them that are kind of trying to change, bring change within the youth. And when I was younger, when I was about 17, 18, I actually done like a similar programme okay. to what I'm leading now. Yeah. And that's what kind of inspired me at that age and made me realise, like, especially with the, the, the friendship group I had, we, we realised, you know, there's actually, wow, there is ways to do business and, you know, it's not as hard as sometimes it seems when you don't know about something it seems so hard and then you learn and it's like wow it opens your eyes to so many opportunities and when my eyes got open i felt like you know what knowing the knowledge i know i wish everyone knew this because it would in a way change everyone's life obviously in theory i'm not going to say it's easy yeah. but in theory and it changed my life and i just want to kind of pay that forward like help other people to help themselves yeah definitely and you know with young people now, you know, there's so many different mm -hmm. media platforms, so many different social media. How do you kind yeah. of get this message across without kind of 
I don't know, sounding a little bit patronising. You know, like, yeah. do you get what yeah. I mean? 100%, yeah. That's why we don't really, um, it's more like we don't, we, we do touch on the topics, but we mainly just teach them. Because sure, I think, especially with young people, they learn, like I said, through seeing. Yeah. So when they're in the youth club and they interact with other kids and then when they're in the sessions and they're learning about confidence, they're learning about identity, they're learning about how to develop resilience. Naturally, in every session, kids naturally ask the question, oh, what about like drug dealers or what about this and what about that? So it's more we allow them to come to that kind of conclusion as opposed to forcing our agenda on to them, if that makes sense. It's mm-hmm. allowing the, the child to kind of link, create them links themselves and be like, oh, wow, okay, this is why I don't need to go down this route in life. I actually want to go down this route. Wow. So I think that's the way, yeah. Because especially, like you said, yeah, social media is a very powerful tool, but it's not always used for good, unfortunately. And there's a lot of bad stuff that gets shared about, isn't there? Definitely. And how can people find yourselves and, you know, kind of get in touch with you, you if they want to and find out more about this so, programme? Um, so we're on Facebook and Instagram mainly. So it's on Facebook, it's YV Official 2020. And Instagram is the same, YV Official 2020. Um and also with the, the program as well, I might have kind of forgot to mention earlier, it's not just sort of the youth club and the 12 weeks. We also have, after people complete the 12 weeks, they've got a lot of different options. So we have like a performing arts branch of the program where young people can learn street dance, join the choir, join the band, um, or learn sort of musical instrument tuition. We've also got our own podcast and music studio. Yeah. So we do um, obviously music production, music engineering, recording, mixing, beat making and then we've also got a hair and beauty kind of well-being studio where we've got barber chairs we've got salon chairs a nail kind of station um, embroidery and sewing station for kids to kind of learn and create so basically like because we teach them about entrepreneurship yeah we also want to give them the space to be able to push that forward so if they're interested in fashion they've got a space where they can start creating their own fashion and then selling it if they're interested in music they've got the studio that they can start making beats recording if they're interested in you know dancing we've got the dance there um mm. and then we've also got for the people that want to that are more academic and do think you know what actually i do want to go to university we've got um volunteering opportunities with other charity charitable organizations and then we're also launching a week in the life of which is like a active citizenship it's about getting young people into different civic duties so like with the you know shadowing counselors the fire service policemen those sort of statutory organizations so yeah it's not just like the 12 weeks we've also got all them other branches where kids can learn and then think you know what i want to go into fashion here you go we've got the space music we've got the space events so yeah really a lot of mini projects all roll into this one one big, big project i ain't gonna lie you know you're making me want to join <laughs> well we've always got something for everyone we've always yeah. got something for everyone for real and you know one question i wanted to ask how important is it like music wise I, as you know i'm a dj i love the fact that music brings yeah. people together and how important is it for young people and music and fashion and those kind of things for you know for them to get involved in i think it's really important because um but even when i'm gonna get a bit technical here but when it comes to the brain yeah. the way you like you know we measure s- being clever and smart it's about how many active synapses or how many neurons you have firing in your brain yeah. and every time you learn something new it creates a new neuron pathway in your brain so you're basically getting quote unquote smarter yeah. so the way to actually grow in intelligence and knowledge is about learning more and learning new things and you know it's one of them sometimes you don't know you like something you hear about it, you're like oh I don't, I don't think i'm gonna like that and then you actually go and try it yeah. and you're like oh wow I actually do love this. I want to do this for the rest of my life kind of thing, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, as is most the hobbies that people kind of happen upon. So, yeah, I think it's just, especially with young people, like with music as well, a lot of the young people love music, don't they? And I think it is a great way to express yourself. It's expressing yourself through the performing arts. So whether you want to express yourself through your fashion, your personality coming through your clothes that you're making, coming through the m- music you're producing, coming through the dance um, choreographies you're creating, it's all a way to express yourself, a way to get your message or yourself out there basically and i think that's beautiful definitely is and you know i'm interested in this um mental health project that you did as well with the young people it'd be great if you can Mm -hmm. send it over to us or you know some way where we can showcase it yeah definitely we're just getting the final touches editing touches done on it um and then yeah by all means i'll get that sent over to you definitely that'd be great yeah and can you let the, you know, because obviously parents will be locked in. Not everybody has Facebook or Instagram. Do you have an email or something like that that people or parents yeah. can get in touch with? Yeah, people can email me directly. I can send them the registration form. Okay. So my email is shwabe, so that's spelled 
S for Sierra, H for Hotel, O for Oscar, A for Alpha, I for India, B for Bravo, at thehighlife.org. Okay, okay. And if there is a message or a key point that you want to send across during, you know, for young people out there that are listening right now, or even parents that are listening right now, what would you like to say to them? Oh, that's a, oh, you put me on the spot now. That's a, the one message. It's like it's like if you could say something to the whole world, if everyone was listening, what would you say kind of thing, yeah. ain't it? But I think I would say, um, you know what? Like, sometimes in life we always think our life is hard. Yeah. And then sometimes you speak to other people and through communication, through growth, you realise, actually, you know what? It's not just me that has problems and it's not just me that's got all this doom and gloom. It's everyone. Yeah. So it's about all collectively coming together. It's only by coming together that we can really make change in this world no one we're not created to be isolated you know to be singular we're created to work together and only by working together can we create the world we want to see and sometimes when you're in those struggles and you're in those moments and you kind of lose sight of it of where you want to go it's just about reminding yourself of you know what this is the journey like for example if you're going on imagine like back in the days before planes were invented and it was so easy for us to just fly anywhere in the world yeah. people had to travel on boats and you know horse and carriage and travel for so long but they weren't so focused on the journey the little bumps and trips on the road they were focused on where they're going to yeah. and i feel like that's a and also almost an analogy for how we should go about life mm. like it's just like we're on a journey we want to go somewhere we're going to hit a little stumble, you know, the wheel might come off the wagon or whatever, but at the end of the day, you still know where you want to go. Got to, just don't lose focus on where you want to go, basically. I probably could have worded that better, but no, yeah. That was, <laughs> that was good still. And of course, you know, you. I have to give you props and the team that you have around you for, you know, creating this space in Coventry, because like I said, yeah. it's been going, it's been dying out for ages, you know, you yes. it as an art form. Um, yeah, it's it keeps dying yeah. and dying, but it's so nice to hear that there is a space for yeah. some young people to go to, and hopefully more and more will keep coming. Oh, hundred percent. That's what we hope. I mean, I think Coventry is an amazing place. There's so much, so many different cultures here, so many different ideas. It's just we've got to focus that energy in the right places and actually show that show show the whole of the UK that you know, especially at the BBC Big One Radio. So Coventry is starting to get more and more out there. We want to show more talent, show more of what commentary's got to offer and it's things like this that create the next future generation and create the next big things that are going to be coming in in the in the years to come hopefully definitely and just before you go before we kind of wrap up the interview can you just tell everybody yeah. once again the facebook instagram and email for me yeah no problem so the facebook and instagram they're both the same it's y v official 2020 and then my email is shwaib that's about s-h-o-a-i-b at thehighlife.org that's great and you know what it's been a blessing to talk to you to <laughs> get you. to know a little bit of the project so far and it'll be great to come down and visit you guys that's most definitely oh gonna be definitely a yeah i'd love for you to come see the studios or maybe give us some pointers on maybe some things we can get <laughs> yeah man that's cool that's definitely a plan oh, yeah. i like the sound of that for real perfect that's great but yeah thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to come and speak and you know hopefully get our message out there to more and more young people definitely anytime you're always welcome any new projects anything you've got coming up please let me know and i'll definitely oh. be happy to put it on the radio perfect thank you i appreciate that anytime anytime